Hi, my name's Luke Watson and I'm the Career Practitioner at Kent Street Senior High School. Today, I'll be reviewing how to make selections using the subject selection online process. This is for our current year 10s in 2024 who will be in year 11, 2025. To log in, you are required to go to that specific link that is there on the screen in front of you, that is for our school, and you'll need to go to the reset password link. You'll then need to enter your Department of Education email address. This is your school username with at student.education.wa.edu.au and click Submit. Once you've clicked Submit, please return to your Department of Education email and then you're able to utilise that to help reset your password. Once you've followed the link and used the forgotten password function, then you can please go into your school email and they will send you a login code that will allow you to set your own password and log in to the subject selection online. Once logged in, your screen should look like the one up there now uh, with uh, your name in the top right hand corner. As you work your way through the instructions and information, please ensure that you download the Year 11 Curriculum and Waste and Senior School Pathway handbooks so that you can refer to them during your selections. The first information needed is for all students to please submit their unique student identifier via the link on the screen now. If your student does not have one, there is a link to the usi.gov.au website to help the creation or retrieve a forgotten USI. This is your first opportunity to make a selection. As you can see, there are four pathways, ATAR, General, VET and Uni Ready. As you can also see in the text, it changes what colour the courses are depending on whether or not you have met the prerequisites slash being recommended for that course. So circles in red or light yellow indicate that you have not met the prerequisites for that course. Circles in a dark yellow indicate that you have achieved your prerequisite grade for that course and spaces are still available in that class. Circles in green indicate that course is available for you to select. Please do make sure that you are familiar with the handbook, course expectations, requirements and details before making your selections. As you can see, this is a course selection example in front of you. This young person has chosen a general pathway and is then presented with this particular screen. As you can see, those in the dark yellow have been recommended, but there are limited places in those. Those in the green are recommended as well. However, places are not limited as they are not run here at school. In this example, you can see a young person has chosen ATAR as a pathway, but as you see down there in course selection line one, those ATAR courses are light yellow in color. When you hover over that, you will see that it states that the selection is disabled because you do not have the required result, i.e. that means that you have not been recommended that particular ATAR subject. This young person should return to the pathway section and choose a more suitable pathway. Once you have made your six selections, on the right hand side of your screen, you will notice that you have your selections. You may need to expand that section. As you go down to the bottom, which is generate selection report and click it, if it won't download, then you please need to review the yellow banner at the bottom of your screen, for you may have some requirements that are not yet met. If you are able to download it, it will open as a PDF. I strongly encourage you to make sure that you save that in a safe place and perhaps share it with other people in your family. Some other relevant information that you may wish to be made aware of. When you log into SSO at the very top, 
It suggests that selections are not guaranteed and to note that all efforts will be made to place students in the preferred courses, but due to practical considerations such as staffing and minimum class numbers, no course can be guaranteed. You may see on the screen here, there is a process if a young person has not been recommended a year 11 course. In this instance, they will not be permitted to select it during the online selection process for those subjects which they have not satisfied requirements. An interview may be arranged in term four following significant academic improvement in semester two with the Deputy Principal of Senior School, Mr Craig Lynch, if those year 11 course prerequisites are then met. But please note the availability of subjects at this late stage may be severely limited or not available at all. Students who do not at any stage in year 10 meet the prerequisites for courses will not be permitted to study them in year 11 unless there are significant extenuating circumstances. Students who wish to select an ATAR course where they do not meet the prerequisites will be required to complete an inappropriate selection form, which both the student and parent must sign. In these situations, an interview must occur with parents and the Deputy Principal Senior School, Mr Craig Lynch. Thank you for watching this How to Use SSO presentation for Kent Street Senior High School Year 11 2025 course selections. Please see the course counselling contacts on your screen and if you have any problems with using the SSO process, you can see my contact, Mr Luke Watson, uh, down the bottom. Please get in contact if you have problems with SSO. Best of luck in your course selections.